In this chapter, we will look at the different methods of starting the AS400 system and of powering it down. The process of starting up the system is called IPL or Initial Program Load. During an IPL, the system programs are loaded from the auxiliary storage and the system hardware is checked. IPLs can be unattended, attended or automatic. The unattended IPL is the most commonly used method where the user presses the power push button and the system automatically starts by itself. When the IPL is through, the sign on display will be shown. An attended IPL is done when it is required to change the IPL options such as date and time. A new release of OS 400 is to be installed. We require to change the disk configuration or a system failure occurs and the system is to be restarted. In the case of automatic IPLs, we can specify when an IPL has to occur and the system will start itself automatically at the specified time. Every AS400 system has a control panel that is used to start and stop the system. The appearance of the control panel may vary for different models but they all perform the same functions. The power on light indicates whether power is available to the system or not. Power push button is used to start the system. It can also be used to stop the system manually. The increment decrement buttons are used to access the functions that are currently available. You can change the IPL type and mode using these buttons. The enter push button can be used to process the function that has been selected. A set of system values supply control information that is required for the functioning of the system as well as system-wide default values. Let us look at some of the system values related to IPL. QIPL DATTIM is used to specify the date and time for automatic IPL. QIPL STS is an IPL status indicator. It indicates what type of IPL was performed last. This value cannot be changed by anyone. QIPL type specifies the type of IPL the system performs from the control panel. QPWR RSTIPL specifies whether an automatic IPL should be done when utility power is restored after a power failure. QRM TIPL is used to control whether remote IPL should be allowed. QUPS DLY TIM specifies the length of time the system should wait before saving main storage and powering down the system. This is only applicable when the system has an uninterruptible power supply. QUPS MSGQ specifies the message Q that is to receive uninterruptible power supply messages when the system utility power supply fails. Let us now look at the different methods by which we can power down the AS400 system. Power down system command can be used to stop the system immediately or in a controlled manner. CNTRLD allows active jobs to run up to the delayed time. IMMED ends all the active jobs immediately. We can also use power on and off tasks menu to power down the system. From here, we can either power off the system immediately or specify that the system is to be powered down and IPL performed immediately. We can also use the power push button to power down the system immediately if neither of the above methods is successful. 
The power push button has to be pressed twice in a row causing the system to turn off the power immediately. This method is generally avoided because it could affect the data files and the next IPL may take longer to complete. Let us look at the steps involved in powering down the system. First of all, ensure the QSYS OPR message queue is allocated to your job in break mode. Either run the end system command with default values from the console or the end subsystem command from any other workstation specifying all for the subsystem to end. This ensures that no new jobs will be started in the system. Next, we should send a break message to all active workstations to let them know that the system is being powered down, also specifying the time of power down. Now, use the work with active jobs command to monitor the interactive jobs. Wait for some time and then use option 4 to end all remaining active user jobs except your own. Use F4 key to prompt for option 4 and specify immediate on the end job command. Now wait until a message arrives on the QSY SOPR message queue stating that the system is in a restricted state. The next step is to use the power down system command to stop the system. Here we can either specify that the system is to end immediately or in a controlled manner where active jobs are allowed to continue up to a specified delay time. Any jobs that are active after the specified delay time is over are ended immediately. Finally, let us see how to schedule the power on and off timings. We can use the go power command from any command line to access the power on and off tasks menu. Here, we can select option 2 to change the power on and off schedule. The change power on and off schedule display allows you to set up daily, weekly and monthly schedules. You can use the F10 key to set up defaults for daily on and off times. Summary In this chapter, we looked at the different methods of performing an IPL. We also saw the different ways of powering down the system. We looked at the system values that affect IPL. We also saw how to schedule power on and off.